All right, and if somebody wants to grab it off of my wall, that will be fantastic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wednesday night ER Shred Come Alive call. I am Heather Seeker Leonard, one of our board members, hashtag Shredicator. Um, excited to be here guest hosting this amazing call. Wednesday nights are my favorite night of the week because we get to hear stories about how this 11 day ER Shred protocol has been changing lives across the globe. We have crossed borders. We have crossed, um, we're all across the US. You keep seeing it show up, but then we know we've crossed borders. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about this. This protocol really has been life changing for me, and I'm honored to be a member of the board and to be able to fill in on calls like this and see your amazing faces that keep showing up for us every week. We truly do appreciate you. Um, I'm going to give a little update on my story as I have been on this protocol since the end of October 2020. I am by day a middle school music teacher and it is the end of our year and we are not finished yet. And I have to say that I am grateful for this protocol because the end of year teacher tired is a real thing. Like I am responsible right now for inventorying almost a thousand instruments and I am exhausted trying to do that while still maintaining my classes. But because of this lifestyle, I am able to keep up and maintain with everything that's been expected. And let's face it, kids are kids and I teach seventh and eighth grade. So you're talking 12 to 14 year old hormones. Um, but I am very proud of how I have been able to keep my emotions leveled um, as these things are happening. The kids have not been able to trigger me as they have in the past, which I really appreciate. Um, and I've noticed that from healing my gut and it heals my mood. So if you want to learn more about that, check out the guides in our ER Shred group because those are in under the holistic corner. Um, and Susan Rothman, our ER Shred board medical professional, keeps sharing so many nuggets of information. So make sure you share that. Check that out and just find out the other amazing side effects of this protocol. So our rock star, April McLean, was helping us find some shredders who are here to share their stories. So Diane, I know you are here. You are calling in from Canada. So Diane, I would like to invite you to unmute and, and so you can share your story with us. Hi, Diane. Hi, Heather. Hello, Shredders. So Miss Diane, I know you have been showing up with us for a, for a while now. So why don't you let us know who invited you to the ER Shred and when did your journey start? Okay, so November 2020, Tara Cooper had something about the website on her Facebook and she had invited people to go. So I went on it and I'm always looking at everything that comes my way because I like to learn. And so I put it on and I added myself like I got invited and then I just kept reading up on it. I printed off the protocol, I posted it on my fridge and I said, well, you know, I'm already doing this, so I can do this. So I posted it and did it and had great success. So you said you did some research. How long did you research it before you decided to jump in and try it? Not very long. And I wasn't going to procrastinate. I said I was only missing, I think, the uh, Isoline Pro Shape because it was, they took it off the Canada market. So I, I just had to wait for that. So I did the Isoline um, pro shape that I had, whatever I had here, I did. And I just made the best of what I had with it. So I did that and then it just worked. And then when my pro shape came, I just jumped right in and did everything I could. I read everything about it, which I, like I said, I was already kind of doing it anyways, without knowing it. So when you say it worked, what were some of those things that you felt worked? What were some of your results on your shred? Well, I was taking like five different thing products for my gut, my digestive and everything there was out of whack. And like you said, it helps the moods. And 
I, I came alive. I slept really good. I had to suck it up and not have my wine for the 11 days, but I, I survived that because um, I just sucked it up and, and did it. And I, I lost some weight with it. it, was a side effect. So that was good. And well, you know what I love that you just said? What? The weight loss was your side effect. Mm -hmm. That you were getting better sleep, that your gut was feeling better, which made things easier for you. And the weight loss was your side effect. That I think is so powerful because that's what the shred I feel like is doing. So props to you for seeing that the healing process for your body was your, your focus of your goals of your shred and the weight loss came after. That is a huge thing. That makes me so proud. So better sleep. Are you craving that wine? Or how are you feeling about that wine now that you've been doing the shred for a while? Oh, I'm st still bad with it. Still, <laughs> still say I need it. But, but I, I, I've always been good when I went to um, all inclusives, I could go there, bring my isogenic stuff and I could walk by the whole buffet table and I don't want nothing. And I've always been like that. Like I've just, people thought I was weird because I just had willpower that way. I don't, I don't like eating what I don't know. I love that. And you know what? Props to you for owning it. Wine is part of your life. It's an indulgence we can have every once in a while. We're not here to tell you, you can't do things. We know what the protocol is to get to baseline, to identify things. And I think what we find is how our bodies respond to things is different. So maybe, you know, I have had a glass of wine or two. This end of the year stuff is a little crazy. So mm -hmm. yeah, I've had my beer. I've had my wine. I don't drink nearly as much of it as I used to. And I've noticed I've turned into a little bit of a lightweight. Are you noticing the quantity is lower? <laughs> no. <laughs> so no, I'm just being case. honest. I'm just being nope. realistic. All good. It's just now, because I've been home too much. And like I was telling you before, I, I want to get out and play tennis. Like I play tennis, I play pickleball. I, I like to ride my bike and I walked a lot. So I've lost a lot of muscle mass because all I could do was walk and I'm you know, I don't have my gym right now. So I'm, I just want to keep strong. That's so awesome. And you know what else? I really appreciate you for showing up. I know I see your face on all of these calls every week. You are a true member of this community mm -hmm. that keeps showing up for yourself and for this community. And we really appreciate you. And I want to congratulate you on your results. Amazing job. And I'm grateful for you for feeling confident enough to share your story. Yes. Because that's a big deal. Because I know we've had that conversation back, I think it was in March, you said you weren't ready yet. And that's okay. People need to come ready when they're ready. But I'm really proud of you for, for getting out there and sharing your story. So cheers to you. And then since I've been doing the uh, incubation shake, I've gone down and I do the ice body challenge too as a motivator. And I've got three and a half more pounds to lose before I hit the normal weight. Because I've been in that overweight part for so since I started for 11 years now good for you so three and a half pounds away from that BMI being normal yeah and remember BMI is just a number because yep. Jesse I think said it the other day that his BMI tells him he's obese so oh, don't okay. rely completely on that number don't let that number define you but I am proud of you for getting yourself healthier and getting into that range and so exactly. that would be my one piece of advice for you is don't lock your head into that number okay. because that number is just a number it doesn't define you what defines you is the fact that you are sleeping better that your gut is feeling better that you are getting ready to get back active once Canada opens up and allows you to go back to the gym and that you're motivated to do that again so cheers to you my friend and thank you for showing up tonight and sharing your story and thank I will you. make sure you are entered into our raffle okay thank you Heather Thank, Thank you, you Miss Diane. Okay. Trey Law, I saw you made it into the call. Are you out there? I am. Hello, Miss Trey. It is nice to actually meet you because <laughs> I see you showing up in this group every day without fail. You are a consistent shredder. So tell us a little bit about your journey, who invited you to the ER shred, your experiences on this journey. Where were you before the shred? 
So Mike Jones was the one who got me on to um, the ER sh um, shred. It took him like two years. He's been, we've been fighting two years <laughs> to try to get on this program. I was just giving him a hard time. I was like, no, I'm not ready. No, it's too I, I was giving him a hard time. Until and I want to jump in right there and say that I know how persistent Mike is because he is a ref at the school that I teach at. Yep. So that's how I know him. And I can keep him completely. <laughs> yeah, so I gave him um, a hard time until this year when I had the opportunity to join the ER shred. I was like, why not? Let me do it. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. You know, <laughs> that's the attitude I gave him. And it was the best decision I ever made. Um, I'm telling you, the best decision um, I've ever made, and I'm so glad he kept bugging me and been on my ass my allowed to curse. <laughs> it's our call. You can do whatever you want. We appreciate people being real. <laughs> so, yes, he was on my butt like crazy, and I was like, yeah, okay, but do it. So, yeah, um, how I started this journey of um, becoming a healthier me, my doctor. You know how doctors like to put you're obese in a nice, kind way, but you in your head, you hear, I'm fat, you're fat, you're fat. So that's what I heard when the doctor told me in a nice way they're supposed to tell you, but I heard, I'm fat. And that made me, um, you know, decide like, oh, no, it's time to change. And, and that's when I made my change. I, I tried different programs. I did the beach body. I did Sean T, uh, oh, there's so many, and none of them were, were giving me the results I wanted. Last year, no, 2019, I joined um, a Fit Queen community, it was all women, and I did see results from that, um, from that um, challenge, but the food was hurting my stomach. <clears throat> and I've been feeling like I was bloated all the time, and I, wa I wasn't, it was, just, it was just an awful pain to feel like you're bloated all the time. And I got to 220 and I was stuck at 220 for a good while and I couldn't get past that 220 and my stomach just wasn't going down. And I wasn't happy still because I wasn't losing my stomach. So thanks to Mike Jones, he got me onto this, you know, this program. And my stomach is going down. The first morning you have a drink that's like. Hold on. Red. Sorry about that. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, my stomach is going down and I'm losing weight like crazy. And people, they see me, their eyes are like, wow. And it's a good feeling. But, you know, go, you know, have to go shopping for new clothes and underwears is not a good feeling that I have to do right now. <laughs> so, but I am happy with my results. I'm sorry, y'all. Just keep it in what I do. You've got to keep it real. <laughs> that's, just how, fine. that's just me. And uh, but I'm not I, I don't I, you know, I, I'm very I'm just I'm very happy. My energy is up there. And nobody can tell me anything. Like I, I say to everybody when I go into these groups, I'm feeling fat tabulous. Okay. So, you know, you can't tell me anything. Um, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. And now that I have the opportunity to share what I'm doing with others makes me happy too. So I got other, you know, women joining me on also on getting healthier and losing that fanny pack that we have here in our midsection that we can't stand when we look in the mirror. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that reference, calling it a fanny pack. <laughs> it's a fanny pack to me. That's what it looks like, isn't it? That's what it looks like, a fanny pack. <laughs> and you know what? I saw you online last night hosting your call, helping others share their story. And props to you for that empowerment to understand the importance of being real being true to who you are and sharing it out. So I see, I see you're losing inches in your stomach and weight, your energy's up. Other side effects that you're noticing, sleep, brain fog. I'm not having any side effects, but I'm not bloated. <laughs> That's the best part is I'm not bloated. Uh, I, my stomach is not killing me. I'm not having pains. And also I have arthritis in my hip. And the pain, that pain is easing up a little too also. So I'm happy for that because I couldn't fully 
go hard in my workouts because of my arthritis. But now I'm in the gym, I'm going hard. <laughs> right, absolutely. And and the disclaimers are posted that we don't yep. treat, cure, prevent, and but we know that this is your story and your experience. Yep. And when you attack that chronic inflammation, which I will leave that to Jesse because he is the science guy and I am just the music nerd. Um, but I have learned that that inflammation, being able to attack that and make that go away, we yes. feel better to help come alive. Yes. How about your sleep? How about your mood? Are you noticing any changes with that? Um, I mean, my mood, is, I'm a lot, ha I'm a happier because I'm noticing the changes in my body. Um, sleep, I think my sleep is actually getting a little better. Yeah. But you know, I have, I'm a light sleeper. So, I, you know, <laughs> I, I wake up with everything. So, but I, I mean, it's been pretty good. Yes. I, I don't have no complaints. That's so but awesome. Now. So my, my last question for you, since you've tried all these other things, did it take, did you have a little bit of hesitation when you came to this protocol where we're focusing on meat and butter and fat versus like other protocols you've tried? Did you have any hesitations around that based on what we've heard? in the media no the only thing i was worried about grass-fed food because i didn't know i've never had that in my life or the grass-fed butter and i'm like what oh no <laughs> until i until i tried it i'm like oh it's almost it tastes almost the same it's, it's no difference okay i can do this but no hesitation i didn't do any research i just listened to mike that was it. <laughs> that was it. I just listened to my give, tell me what I needed to know. And I, and I was on it. That is, I'm always down for a challenge. There you go. And sometimes it's, it's a challenge to prove them wrong sometimes. Yes. Yes. I love and a I, challenge. That's one Grandpa thing. Rod, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> so Trey, I just want to say on behalf of the board, I want to say thank you for showing up. You are a consistent member of our community. We really appreciate you. Thank you for being brave and making it onto the call to share your story. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, April, for inviting me. She invited me. <laughs> yes, April is fantastic. And so I'm going to kick it to April, who has a story to share for us for one of our Shred members who couldn't make it to the call, but shared her testimony to April. So April, are you out there? I am. Hi, everybody. Hi, friend. I am just getting, I had it and I lost it. Oh, here we go. Okay. So yes, this is from one of our shredders, uh, Julie Wanamaker. And uh, she said I can uh, share her story for her. So I hope I do it justice or do her justice. So, um, okay. My story. I have wrestled for years with feeling the doom of weight gain and tiredness. I am almost 40, young, I know, but still, and I have, could, and I could feel since about 35 years old, the decline in energy, consistent weight, good sleep, more aches and pains, etc. I tried some diets here and there, Whole30, Weight Watchers, super low calorie diet, etc. And I would lose a little and feel hopeful for a brief time, then feel like the lifestyle wasn't sustainable and see the weight pop back on. I think we can all attest to that. We've tried different things. And um, so, yes, yeah, so then COVID hit and well, as it did for many working from home, along with four kids who were now home with me full time, focus on health, exercise, et cetera, really went up by the wayside. I desperately want to know that there is a way of living that feels manageable and helps balance my body and sustain my weight. Fast forward to this year. My sister-in-law is big into keto and IF. And I'm sorry, I don't know what IF is. Fasting. Oh, duh. Why That's didn't you. I pick up? <laughs> All good. I got you, girl. Okay. She and I started being more mindful together about food, and I did lose about 10 pounds from January to March, but it was slow, and overall, the lifestyle didn't feel sustainable to me. I started to see my good friend, uh, uh, Rocio. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm really nope, sorry. it's Rocio. Is it? Okay. Yep. Uh, posting photos of herself and how much energy, energy she had and how much better her skin and 
better in her skin she was feeling and what she was doing with her diet nowadays. I reached out to her to learn more and she told me about the shred. I signed up and got excited. I completed my 11 days without a single slip up. I was really proud of myself for doing it fully. I did struggle some with upset tummy throughout the whole shred and hoping to fix that before doing my next one. But overall, I felt less cravings, more sustained energy during the day, and I lost eight pounds and 13 inches in just 11 days. Um, yeah, awesome. awesome. Uh, after working my ass off from January to March to only lose 10 pounds, losing eight in 11 days was huge. I'm excited to give another shred a try and really see the benefits bloom for me. I didn't feel that alive moment that some feel, uh, but I am encouraged by others who said it took them a couple shreds before they really started to feel it. And that's her story. And that is an amazing story. Right? And yeah. 10 pounds over three months versus eight pounds in under two weeks. And, and hearing things like cravings are gone. Yeah. And to speak to her a little bit, and uh, again, I'm not going to go deep into it because that's Jesse's job, not mine, but everybody is different. Every journey is different. Where they're coming in from, their results may, may vary. And yeah. I want to call out another transformation that, again, I see in you tonight. I remember you coming Me? in the call. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I remember when you started coming in the calls in January. And yeah. seeing you just grow and glow mm. and own who you are and to <laughs> take this role on for our community and to be here. Like, I know these people, I talk to these people, they're coming to share. I'm encouraging them to share. I'm loving on them to share. Mm. And then for you to share their stories for them as well. Mm. I am so honored to be on this journey with you as well. Oh, thanks. I have seen it tremendously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. I just, you know, I know I've grown, but thank you for noticing and pointing that out. Uh, my confidence has gone up immensely and I, yeah, it's all this, it's the community, it's the products, it's believing in myself and knowing that I'm worth it. And I actually, connected with a friend today after 25 years and he had said uh how's life and I said I'm living my best life ever and he was like holy shit what what are you doing let me know and I was like okay buddy we'll we'll chat but to be able to say that and be saying that with all honesty it feels amazing because I am, I, I do feel like I'm living my best life ever right now, so. And, and the the other piece that I see is the fact that you're, you're feeling it for yourself because I feel like we are very hard on ourselves. So to be yeah. able to reflect and honor our own growth throughout this process and our own empowerment throughout this process, I think that's, that's something a lot of us are working on shredding. And you know, one other thing was I, I was reflecting on my way home from my drive today or my walk this morning and and I realized that I'm, uh, <laughs> it's a little emotional, but I'm done pleasing everybody else. I'm done trying to do things for everybody else. I'm, I'm doing this for me now and I put on my bathing suit today and the it's a two piece, not bikini, but the bottoms are too big. And you can still see the like my role, but I looked in the mirror and I sorry everybody, but I said, You look fucking good. And I just and I believed it and I'm just yeah, I'm I'm proud of myself and I'm doing this for me now. And I don't care what other people think of me as I walk by or, you know, so yeah. Girl, you are giving me so many chills right now. <laughs> and yes, screw everybody else. Yeah. This is for you and rock that bathing suit, own it. You yeah. got this. I am so happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. 
Yeah. All right. Our part okay. of the ER shred has an update for us, I hear. So Ms. Mel, can you unmute and, and go ahead and share with us? Well, hello, everybody. I just wanted y'all to know um, I went five days without shape. So this time in the shred, I'm two days behind you guys. Um, things just didn't sync with my, my paycheck and my order. Um, so what I've decided to do is do the full protocol again. And the full protocol is simply this, two days of shake and shakes, two days of cleanse, five days of shake and shakes, two days of cleanse. So um, I had shake and shake today and I'll do it again tomorrow. And I'm shredding with you guys again, because I, I had some food that didn't agree with me. But what I just want to encourage everybody, don't go full on trying to add foods back in. And, and I've done 10 shreds, but when I added these, particular types of mushrooms. I ate them twice raw and then once cooked. And I went full on into fully distended bloat joint pain. I'm telling you, five days later, I still have joint pain. And I know that's what it is. It's the only thing I added. So so I'm um I'm just um I'm so happy and very pleased about the fact that I know what it is that I ate because I don't I'm not adding a plethora of foods. I'm keeping it simple. My lifestyle is very busy right now doing double shifts. And, um, you know, I just want everybody, when you, when you get your shred done, please go slow. If you add a food, don't add another one the very next day. That's my recommendation. Personally, I, I added two things and back to back. And then I had to rediscover which of those two things were culprits. And it turns out they were both. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes, yeah. those those reminders to go slow and steady, take it easy to figure things yeah. out. And then sometimes you have to go back and reset to figure out where it was. So I love it. Love it. Thank you so much for coming in and showing up for us the way you always do, Miss Hart of the ER Shred. All right, Grandpa Rod, I'm putting you on the spot, my friend. Hi, everybody. How you doing, Heather? Hi, Grandpa Rod. It feels like ages since we've talked. It has. It's been, I've been vacationing and celebrating and so I had a little bit of time away, but I'm really glad to be back. It's so good to see everybody. I feel like I, I like April's April was talking. And I just feel like, gosh, I didn't know April in December. And I feel like I missed my friend for five months and or five weeks or whatever it's been. Absolutely. I'm I'm planning to try and get over the border to Canada, hopefully, if if pro, um, you know everything lets up a little bit, so I can go hang out with her and Tara for a little bit because they're not yeah. that far from me. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's one of the great things that nobody's mentioned, I don't think too much tonight, but this community is, you know, it's the unwritten between the lines part of the protocol that it, that it adds the glue to it. It just puts it all together. It's where winning happens is in the community. Um, so I just love to see people um, who come back and people who get added um, into the community and show up with us. So, hey, I'll just share that. Um, I, I was away. I went to uh, Mazatlan in April, at the end of April, for two weeks. And so there was a lot of vacation food. Um, and I knew there was going to be a lot of vacation food and um, vacation beverages. And But I packed every single thing that I thought I was going to need to keep, continue shredding without cleansing on the vacation. And um, I brought a bunch of it back. So apparently I didn't have quite as many meals uh, that as I planned, but I did have a shake every morning, at least at least one every day and usually two. And, um, and I, toward the end of the vacation, at the end of the second week, I was, I was starting to regret the vacation food. And it wasn't like I felt crappy. I just knew, I thought, well, you know, you, you started out, you left on vacation and you were down 50 pounds. Cause I started for everybody who doesn't know, I started shredding in January. And um, at the time I weighed 321 pounds. And so I had lost 50 and I thought, crap, I've probably gained 20 back 15 at least. And the good news is, and I'm inclined to, to believe this. I, I don't know if I made it up or if I heard Jesse talking about it, but um that even while I was having some partying, my body was burning fat. And that's really cool because I came home and I was up eight pounds, but eight pounds, that was not a big deal. And 
my mindset was such that um, I, I deserve a vacation and I deserve to have fun. And um, I can't choose every restaurant the way I want it to be. So I did my best and I had some fun. And I came home and I started a, an 11 day. And by day five, the eight pounds was gone. Totally gone. Boom. Oh. Boom. It was like, okay, new reason to love this is there's a tool that fixes things. There's a tool that fixes things. And, 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 you know, some people can use it as a tool and just occasionally do it. For me, it's a lifestyle. And so this is, uh, this week is shred number seven. And um, I was really happy because I started, uh, like I said, when I went on vacation, I was down 50 pounds. When I started this shred, I was down about 55 and about 40 inches. Um, like April, um, I started putting on summer clothes and realizing, oh, those shorts and t-shirts and swim suits, they might not last very long in the water. So watch out, everybody, close your eyes because I got to get some smaller sizes going on. So I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. And you know, I'm excited too, because my baby sister um, is seven years younger than me and she's had a lot of stress in her life and she's been noticing and she started a shred this week with us. So uh, it's her first one. And I've been, I've been texting her every couple of hours and reminding her, Hey, bone broth right now, bone broth. And uh, so it's uh it's all good. It's really good. Last week I was in Utah uh, for my grandson's uh, for oldest grandson's graduation. And again, there's celebration food and things and activities and came home and didn't gain a pound. It was just awesome. So, you know, um, that's just a little bit by way of an update uh, for those that haven't met me or I haven't met yet. I'm, you know, I, I came into ER Shred um, with just a, a last 25, 30 years of a variety of different diets and, and battled weight and things like that. And um, I was a skeptic and I was a believer that, you know, this is going to screw up my cholesterol. It's going to mess up my blood pressure. Um, but um, I listened and I said, you know, it's 11 days, it's 11 days and I'll probably do it once a quarter is what I thought. And the, the first 11 days were so fantastic. If I remember right, I lost about 16 pounds. It was awesome. And, um, and gosh, it's like I said, it's a lifestyle. Last night I was, um, day two of our, of our tread, I was invited over to a friend's house for dinner. And uh, there was going to be three couples. And I was like, oh man, it's going to screw up my shred. So this, I mean, this is definitely going to screw this up. And I got there. He'd been paying attention. He knew what who I, who I was, and he said, "Hey, you're out. I got some here buttered shrimp for you. I've got a nice ribeye for you. Uh, I didn't make a baked potato for you. I'm trying to help. Stay away from that." And uh, and the guests that I hadn't seen for a long time, they just they just took they just took a good look and they said, "Wow, what are you doing?" And you know, there's there's a little ego for sure. It's a lot of pride, like right April. And I just looked and I said, you know, thank you. That that's I got another 50 in me. And I'll share one more little anecdote, Heather, because I'm just I'm just excited. Yesterday, I, um, I you know, a couple of days ago, I got a text message from my doctor reminding me of an appointment I'd probably almost forgotten. And I, I, I went and I remember now that you know I'm not sick. So the point of the reason for the appointment was he wanted to follow up on my high blood pressure from last December. And then on Feb in February, we started some uh, meds. And like everybody says, you know, we don't cure things, we don't treat things, but my doctor had his assistant take my blood pressure four times because he didn't believe the equipment because the top number was down 32 points since February. And then he looked and he says, and do you realize you're down 53 pounds since February? And I said, well, it was actually January, but yeah, I do. So, you know, that was, that was pretty cool. And he, he kept asking questions like, what do you mean you're eating a lot of protein? What, what do you mean? How, like exactly how much protein? A lot. <laughs> love that the energy that you're bringing to us in what I'm hearing from your story you lived life and then you got right back on the tracks because you knew the tracks to run on 
Exactly. But you're, I watch your posts and I see you with your grandkids. I see that energy. You are the grandpa project without question. And you're, you've got your health back. The fact that you're shocking your doctors because you forgot you had a checkup. That is fantastic. I love to hear that. Thank you. You know, it is, it, it, there's, that's a benefit. The energy is there. Um, mindfulness is there. You know, people talk about having better memory. I think I've felt more open. I, I, I have more clarity around what I'm thinking and, and what's important to me. And um, yeah, so I've, empowered is a word that, that um, Sean used. The first time I heard him talk, he talked and Jesse about this being an empowering protocol. And I went, look, it's a list. It's a list of things to do. How empowering is that? Do this, don't alter it. And now I get it. I'm in charge of me. Uh, I, and I can go do what I want and I can come back to where I belong. And that's right here. So thank and you. We love having you here, Grandpa Rod. We do thank appreciate you. you. Thank you for showing up. All right. I'm going to do one last call. If anybody else wants to share before I kick it over, because I know Jesse's not sure what to do when I give him 20 minutes. So if anybody else has anything to share, <laughs> please feel free to jump into the chat box. If not, I will give Jesse his 20 minutes because I know. All right, my friend. Oh, Miss Heidi, are you are you coming on to share with us? Go for it, my friend. Well, I just wanted to say the same thing. My uh, doctor called me today and cut my thyroid medicine in half. And my all my blood work is phenomenal. The cholesterol, everything's great, you know. So sorry, I'm outside. That's all good. With your amazing window of your trailer. Mm -hmm. like share in the shred every road you drive down. I love that graphic, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. That is, you are the living body of the ER shred as well. We've got the grandparents who are killing it in this community and we appreciate you all. And again, Thank you're you. in your health. People don't think it because that's not what the media tells us is what's going to get our health back, but they're all liars. And I'm going to kick it over to our ER Shred Nutrition Ambassador, who's going to tell us why they are all liars and why this protocol works. And Jesse, you've got 20 minutes to do it, my friend. Oh, thanks, Heather. I love how you just slipped right in there with Sean and like, this is what Jesse's going to tell you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't He's to break it off down. I know I shot it. Yeah, I know I shocked a couple of people. Look, I actually got some hair growing finally. This is freaking amazing. I don't even know. And Trey, by the way, holy shit, you are always allowed to say ass or shit or anything you want, girl. You show up the way you show up, and that is perfectly okay with us because this community welcomes all people, and that's just how it rolls. So you always show up like that. You too, April. You too, Rod. Oh, my God. Diane, everybody. Look at the shepherds over there. Oh, look at you guys all decked out in ER shed. You guys look sexy over there. Anyways, all right, let's get down to this. Why does the ER shed work? Obviously, from the testimonials, I mean, come on, right? This is a lifestyle. This is something, you know, nine months ago, you might have been like, dude, you and that guy with that long hair and beard, you guys are off your rocker. You are psycho. You are crazy. We said, thank you very much, but watch us, but watch us. And it was really because of nothing else, because, because besides our own health journeys, our own health crises, our own experience over so many years of trying so many different things. Like just because we're where we're at today doesn't mean that we don't appreciate and honor and understand where all of you are coming from because I was there. I need you to understand that I was there it's just, you can't judge me from today after 20 years later of consistently doing this. Nobody sees the mess ups. Nobody sees the screw ups. Nobody sees all the crap that, that I went sideways and backwards and left and right. They just look at Jesse now and they go, oh, it must be so easy. The hell it's easy. It never gets easier. It never gets easier. But let me tell you this, your health is always worth the fight. Your health 
is your greatest wealth. All the money in the world can only fix you for so long, my friends. And let me tell you something, you can't take the money with you, but you can take quality health with you well into your, your greater years as Heidi's showing us and Rod is showing us and so many other, Melanie and so many other amazing examples, uh, Laura and I mean, gosh, there's so many now, it's just ridiculous. Numbers are bullshit. The fact that we should go backwards as we age is bullshit. All of the advice that we've so-called been told for years, eat more grains, take out fat, all of that crap as we're coming to realize is just plain garbage. And if you do what I've done over the last 20 years, not only study nutrition, because that will give you numbers, that will give you recommended daily allowances, that will give you stuff that like they say is good for everyone. I don't know how they understand what's good for everyone anyways, by eating so much of this and eating so much of that, right? Um, what we do know is the body just needs certain things. And what we've come to realize is that we need to get back in the driver's seat. We need to stop listening to people, people tell us what is right and what is not right for our bodies. This is your body. This is my body. This is your life. This is my life. And damn it, we're going to start showing up the way that we were created to be. And you need to believe in yourself. And the ER shred, when we say empowerment, it is going to inject belief in you. It is going to remind you that you are an epic human being. It is going to light you on fire again. In my opinion, from 20 years of being in this industry, it is the best damn health protocol that has ever come around. It doesn't just take into account one thing. You see, we've tried all things and we were smart enough to realize that certain things have characteristics in them that are amazing. But with that, there's also things that aren't good about it right? For instance, stripping ourselves of all the carbs, minus 20, like full-blown keto, not necessarily so-called the best idea because you can't stick to it. So how can we create that lifestyle? So what we've been able to do is to take all those things that have been great to pull from all these different aspects that are out there and combine something that's so simple, that's so easy to follow, that can be done by any walk of life, no matter what you do, no matter what your daily work is, it does not matter, you can do this. And all it's going to do, all the 11 day ER shred is, is a very simple way to bring our bodies back to baseline. Baseline is the purest of forms. It means that you are not putting stuff in that is attacking your body. You are not putting in poison that your body literally does not know what to do with it. When you put in fake sugars and you put in processed carbs and you put in laboratory experiments, we're basically lab rats when we eat that stuff, okay? Because there's nothing good that comes from it. Your body doesn't know how to process it. So it starts to do bad things. And that list of bad things can go on for a very, very long time. So we're not going to dive down that rabbit hole tonight, but I promise you, it's a whole laundry list of really bad stuff. Throw in heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, you know, autoimmune disease, ADHD, even cancer, right? All of this stuff is, is literally the, ba the basics of that is inflammation and just putting in bad stuff and fueling our bodies with garbage. So the 11 day ER shred is a simple protocol. Here's what we're doing. We are teaching people how to combine proper whole foods. What do I mean by whole foods, right? Whole foods are nutrient dense calories. That's the difference for me. A calorie is not equal to a calorie. A calorie of an apple is not equal to a calorie of a ding dong. If you eat an apple, it's going to send different signals. If you eat a ding dong, you are going to turn into a freaking ding dong. Your cells are going to be ding dongs. Do you understand? Ding dongs feed ding dongs. Apples and nutrients feed nutrients. So we teach you how to use real, nutritious, nutrient dense whole foods combined with supplementation, scientifically backed, peer reviewed, published supplementation. The ER shred is the ancestral way of eating, reformulated with the 21st century magic. That's what the ER shred is. 
And, and we use supplementation because I don't care how disciplined you become. I don't care how dedicated you tell me you are. I can match you. I promise you when it comes to health and nutrition, I will match you on that level. And even myself, I cannot get in all of the 70 minerals and nutrients that my body needs, that my cells are crying for every single day to perform at their peak optimal levels. I can't get that through regular whole foods. Our food system is just not the same these days. Soil depletion, deforestation, pesticides, herbicides, chemicals everywhere. You've got to wake up and realize that it's just not the same. So supplementation has to be in there to fill that void. And it's not just supplements and it's not just whole food. It's the combination of it together, synergistically together that works as a whole that is giving our bodies what it needs. So we teach you how to properly do that. We've partnered with our fulfillment company because our standards are freaking high. I've spent 20 years doing this. I was not going to be scammed by some bogus research. I was not going to be scammed by some crap that I got scammed at at 18 years old. This shit checks out. I give this to my daughter. I'm going to give it to my unborn child. There's my testimonial for you on the purity, the quality. When you go inform sport, inform choice, when you get double blind placebo, peer reviewed research, you cannot screw that up. You can't fake it. And you get the company gave up for us ready refusal. Folks, that is freaking huge. So we partner with these things, these macronutrient shakes, these delicious, creamy, tastes like milkshakes type of food, right? To fuel our bodies and get that bioavailability. bioavailability. We teach you that real food like grass-fed beef and grass-fed butter and real Himalayan pink sea salt is just like epic nutrition. It's the opposite of what you've been heard, I know, but it's healing. There are studies, scientific studies that show why we need grass-fed meats. The conjugated linoleic acid, the fact of how it fights disease and what it does for our body, it is healing. Do your research, stop believing the magazine and do a little bit of digging and don't just believe the first one you find really make sure that you're looking at the right stuff. Or you can just say, I promise you, I've spent hundreds of hours at this point doing that for you. And I'm going to guide you in the right way because it's in my passion. It's in my soul. It's in my heart to just simply make people feel freaking amazing. So remember that our cells are doing this. So what are we doing with the ER shred? By eliminating, by resetting, by shredding. That's what the ER shred is. We are crushing, crushing chronic inflammation. Hello, swelling, goodbye, aches and pains. Hello, mental clarity. Hello, goodbye, brain fog. Like, hello, whites in our eyes. Hello, all that stuff. Welcome. Welcome back, human. Welcome back to the way that you're supposed to be. That's what happens. That's how powerful it is. And we're not just going to tiptoe around it. We're not going to be like, oh, let's get, no, we're going to go right after it. We're going to strip out all the stuff that we know causes pain causes disease, the, the soy, the gluten, the pesticides, the herbicides, the fake ass stuff that's being labeled as food. That's not food. It's food like substances, friends. It's not food because it doesn't contain vitamins and minerals and nutrients. That to me is the equivalent of food. You understand? That's how I view food. Food has to give me energy. It deserves a place in my body because it fuels my body. Our bodies need that. So we crush chronic inflammation. We regulate our hormones. One of the most powerful ones being insulin, serotonin, ghrelin. We regulate all these hormones. If you're out of whack, how do you expect the body to function and heal itself if you need healing? How do you expect the body to do what it's designed to do if it's under attack by the food that you're eating, by the outside stress that you're causing, by all the other stuff that doesn't belong there? So we are just teaching you. We're giving you those tracks to run on to show you so you can have your own aha moment. You need to have your aha moment and understand and appreciate how powerful of a drug food really is. And that's what we're going to be able to teach you. And thankfully, Sean, myself, Crystal, we've already spent the, well, some of you have too. And Trey, I'm sorry, we didn't catch you soon enough. Some of you have, 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 have had the pain and, and look back and go, wow. I have wasted thousands of dollars 
and I have wasted thousands of hours on nonsense. I just want to cut the bullshit and give you the real deal because I know how good you should feel because I feel like it every day. And that doesn't mean I don't have off days. Let's be honest. We're all human, right? We can have off days and that's perfectly okay too. But for the most part, holy God, I'm, I'm firing on all cylinders and even some extra added ones that I didn't even know I had still, right? And I'm supposed to be going downhill because I'm 41. <laughs> Who made that crap up? They should be smacked. Anyways, so we give you, it's the complete opposite of a diet. We're just teaching you, we're teaching you the power of food. Do you understand? We're not teaching you how to count calories. We're not teaching you how to, how to drive yourself crazy and, and, and string out your four pieces of asparagus or take out your measuring cups or your plastic containers and, and waste half a Sunday meal prepping for the entire week. Like, no, no, there's no need for that. I've been there. I've done that. It's painful. I don't want you to have to go through that if you haven't been through it yet. So we're just going to give you the basics. And that elimination is going to teach you all of this. I try to share all different ways because it's so much that it's hard to just narrow down. And when you hear these stories of people that have been around forever, you just start to realize like, oh, I get it. I get it now. It's really about bigger picture. It's really about lifestyle. It's not about the first 11 days. No, that's just a sliver of the iceberg, right? That's just the initial process. So we do that through all of that, stripping that elimination, um, and we're just stripping away that garbage. And then we replace it with high quality foods, high quality nutrients. We also cleanse. Cleansing, listen to me, cleansing, this is not a poopy cleanse. You do not need to spend your entire day in a bathroom. You don't have to do that, okay? I was very worried about, it, about that at the beginning because I've done those before. Oh, it's not a good day. It's not a good day. I don't know if you've been there, but it's not a good day. So this is not a poopy cleanse. This is a cellular intermittent nutritional fast. This is backed by 18 years of published research. This is one of the most published peer-reviewed things that is literally out there right now. When you do this, look at how mainstream media took it and spun it all kinds of ways. We've been doing this since 2002. Now, fasting is nothing new. This is hundreds of centuries old. This is biblical. This goes back to way, way back. You understand? But fasting in this way, we've learned through research. Remember, ancestral, but adopted to the 21st century. Why would we not use these valuable resources at our disposal? So we, we, we do fasting, we do cleansing. Yes, we can use it as like an oopsie type of thing, but really the bigger picture is not about that. We do fasting because we know that when we fast the way that we do, we are supporting the body to then be able to do what we were designed to do. We're going after toxins. You have what was once called forever toxins stored inside your fat cells. Scientists used to believe that these could never get rid, we could never get rid of those. Well, now the medical world is shifting and new research has shown that when we can shift the body to burning fat, the oils that those things are stuck in, those chemicals, those dangerous things that they're, that they're stuck in our fat cells, when we utilize fat, and the body converts that fat to energy, those toxins are then released into the blood. Now, from our cleanse for life and the products that we've chosen because of the high standards, those herbs and those minerals, like Susan, our holistic nurse, has been posting in our group for you guys to learn the specific ingredients of why they're in there. There is nothing in there that doesn't need to be in there. That's the important part. And these things are binding to these toxins, and they're allowing the body to then excrete them. You see, it still goes back to the body. It's not the ER shred. It's not just the meat. It's not just the products. It's, it's you. We're fueling you the proper way. I really, really need you to understand that point. And the ER shred is keeping you in line. It's keeping you in check. It's helping you keep the blinders on. It's giving you the tracks to run on. It's giving you the community that we all need to thrive. That's what it is as a collective. But the cleanse is doing amazing things for, it's creating autophagy. This is why I still cleanse. I don't know what I am, 8% body. I don't freaking know. I don't measure that crap. I don't weigh myself. I don't do any of that stuff, but it's really low to see the veins and the rips and everything. Like it's really low. I don't know what it is, but I still cleanse. Why? Because I'm creating autophagy. My healthy cells are eating my bad cells. My, my, my insulin is, is becoming strong. I'm, I'm more, I control it more. And the more that I have control over that, the better my health is going to be. Also, the bioavailability of the absorption of nutrients after that goes way through the roof. 
So that's why I still continue to do it. And in the beginning, some of you can use that to allow your body to heal. You can use it to regulate those hormones that have been out of check. You can use it for a lot of different reasons. I'm sharing with you why I still do it after all these years. I'm not unhealthy, but I don't want to get that way either. Toxins don't take a break just because you're healthy, folks. You still breathe them. You still drink them. You still absorb them through your skin every single day. And if you live in the city, high five, you get even more than the average person who lives in the country. So it's like, it's nuts. I tell my runner friends all the time, you know how much crap you're breathing in all the time? Take a deep breath. You have more oxygen use than the average person. You are more toxic. So everybody needs it. Elite athletes all the way down. I promise, Heather, I'm wrapping up. I see you over there. Um, no, just hold yourself. Um, so we cleanse. And that's why we cleanse. Now you combine that cleanse. You combine the elimination. You combine the fact that we're teaching you whole foods through these macronutrient shakes, this amazing nutrition. And then we learn incubation through our partners and third-party research that we can up the net protein utilization. I mean, there's so much involved in this, so much but so simple with such profound results as we see week after week on my call, on this call, in our group. I mean, all I can do is if you're not part of this amazing community yet, I, I, I welcome you with open arms to join us. And with that, I got to turn it, not over to you, Heather, so you stay and hold. I got to turn it over to our co-founder, the one, the only, Mr. Sean Escobar. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Hey, guys. I just, um, we've had 10 people um, share their testimonies. So I've got a, a little bucket here and I've got these 10 testimonial raffles. Um, everybody that shares their story is entered into a raffle to win the R Shred Gear. So I'm putting the 10 raffles in the buckets. I got to make sure all 10 make it in the bucket. And let me stir this up. Let me shake it up. Awesome testimonials tonight, you guys. So awesome. And thank you, Jesse, for the presentation. My pleasure. Right, here we go. The winner tonight is... Julie Wanamaker, actually. Yeah. Julie Wanamaker was the one, I believe, that, that April read. So I'll reach out to Julie and we'll... We'll get her some gear and thank you, Julie, for, for being willing. Thank you, all of you. That's all I have. Awesome. And thank you. I want to thank both of you for the call last night and what you guys have shared for all of us in this protocol and how much I appreciate you both. And this community appreciates you both and Crystal. We love you guys. I am so honored to be a part of this with you guys. I'm honored that you asked me to fill in for you on these calls and jesse the way you break it down every week the teacher in me appreciates it because every week it's a little bit different so you're differentiating your instruction for all of the learners that we have in our community that maybe it didn't we didn't get it one way so we get it the other way so the educator in me is very grateful to you for changing it up, but bringing your energy for us every single week. Uh, so. Thank you. I wish I'd give you a big hug right now. Actually, I can. It's a new world now all of a sudden. So I can give you a big hug soon. <laughs> that's amazing. So when we all get together and Sean buys steaks for everybody, that's when we'll yes. hug. Yes. So, all right. And with that, if you guys want to unmute and thank Jesse for his wealth and thanks, Jesse. all those that shared their No, thank stories. you guys. Like you guys. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse.